as the Ladies favorite. and gentlemen, Makes our sense. next bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Caged Aggression Amateur Featherweight Division, powered by Elite Loyalty Management. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, and weighed in at 146 pounds. He trains at Ground Zero MMA and is sponsored by Bradfield Blasting, Arrowhead Tattoos, and Chelsea's Spa. Joining us from Fairfield, Iowa, Judah Bolzer! And his opponent. Fighting out of the blue corner, he stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 150 pounds. He trains at Fight for Licks Martial Arts and American Top Team and is sponsored by Full Contact Fighter. Joining us from Fort Dodge, Iowa, Brandon Mills! Brandon laser focused on his opponent. Both of them got their game face on and ready to rock. Here we go. Brandon Mills. Judah to Bolzer. He's about to go down. Here we go. Let's see how this plays out here. See if Brandon has made the necessary adjustments from his last fight. Sponsored by Full Contact Fighter. We used to wear that back in the day, buddy. Uh, Joel Gold from New York City bringing that back. I like it. I always loved that logo. Yeah. That's the original. It was down between Full Contact Fighter and Tap Out for getting the UFC, the first UFC sponsorship uh, percentage deal. And they decided to go with Tap Out and Full Contact Fighter kind of faded away. But Joe Gold has never given up. Good for him. I need some of that gear. Actually. You hear that, Joel? Champ's asking for gear. Nice inside leg kick from Brandon. Look at his shoot. Bolzer puts uh, Brandon Mills up against the cage right now. You know, Mills needs to work his striking in this one. He's got the opportunity. He's taller than his than his opponent. Mm -hmm. Needs to uh, needs to circle out, push off, use use his reach. Nice knee from Bolzer. And start working on getting comfortable with the striking in an actual fight. It's one thing to hit mitts and spar in the gym and things like that, but uh, super important to get comfortable in the cage in all, all aspects of it. So he does. He pushes off. Good. Ooh, good nice right, right from hand. Mills. And Goes then, into a takedown. And on a double. Let's see if he can get him up. There he Ooh, goes. Oh. It looked like Pops right there. And again, when you're working with those Dagestanis, they love that dump. Yeah. Got to put his knee on that arm and pull his arm out. A little over a minute to go in this first put round. his knee on it. There we go. Oh, and he's looking for that mount. Crosses over. He got it. Yep. Yeah. A little high. He gets taken off. And he's in a bad spot. He's up against the cage yeah, right it's now. Awkward spot there for sure. Still in the top position. 45 seconds left here in the beginning of this first round. There's the full mount right there. Let's there see what he can is. do with it for 45 seconds to go. Ooh, got Looking under back. the neck. This could be it. Trying to soften him up. He's under the neck again. Bulls are grabbing that hand. Bulls are doing a good job of defending. Yes, he is. He's got the phone booth going. Mills with under 30 seconds to do some damage here. Riding his back. He's got both hooks in. And flatten him out. Just keep punching. Let him look for the gate. And he's under, oh, he's there. under there. Let's see if he can lock his hands in. 14 seconds. It's getting tight. It's getting tight. Got him flattened out. Flattened out. He yes, he taps him. Oh. With seven seconds left in the first round, Brandon Mills with a very impressive first round submission victory over Judah Bozer. Textbook performance right yes. now. You know, when he, and he took a big knee when he had him up against the uh, cage, you know. He readjusted, got him to the ground. He was very patient, got him away from that cage, got the mount, and ended up getting the submission. And the I, first round. I still would have liked to have seen him work on his striking a little bit more. You know, at, uh, at this stage in his career, this is the time to do it. Definitely get that, get that part of the game honed. But, you know, look, when you're in the fight... And you're the son of Matt Hughes. It's a big dump on the ground, ground and pound, yeah, punish him guy. I it. mean, right. he's the guy. I mean, you might as well call him the mini Mark Coleman. <laughs> Brandon coming over talking to the champ.
Cyber developing. Brandon Mills. A nice victory. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Josh Stewart, has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 51 seconds into round one, declaring your winner by submission due to rear naked choke, Brandon Mills. Come on over, Brandon. Hey, you, you keep your record perfect here in the camera cage. Talk to us how you feel after that big win, sir. Well, first off, let's keep that undefeated record going, but... uh. That one's definitely much more exciting than last time, much more improved. Felt great. Looked great, it looked great. So you mentioned uh, working on your striking a lot before coming into this one. What was the game plan coming into this fight? I mean, very, very tough veteran fighter here you face tonight. Well, the plan was to make him unconscious, but he tapped before that, so I guess it all worked out. There you go. Well, look, it was definitely a great submission, great buzzer beater. I wanted to ask you though, anyone you want to thank or anything you want to mention before I let you get to it? Thank my whole family and my team for uh, getting me this far and supporting me throughout this whole journey. And uh, shout out to all my sponsors. Too many names right now, but uh, thank you guys for supporting me. Well, thank you again for the performance tonight. We're looking forward to see what comes next. Until then, let's hear it one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, Brandon Mills. <laughs>